Good morning to all participants. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever we are. I'm privileged to be a part of this expert group to prepare for the 58th session for uh, of the UNCPD next year. Next slide, please. I just have a brief um, introductory remarks that um, efficiency and effectiveness at which the health system responds to healthcare needs of demographically diverse population in different context settings and circumstances is fundamental for achieving um, the sustainable development goals three which is the theme of the next uh, the 58th session and particularly 3.8 which is the universal um, health coverage. And it also includes realizing the ICPD program of action, um, the sustainable future, the pact that has just been signed, and for Africa for harnessing the demographic dividends and um, eventually the sustainable development. Next slide. So I try to look at the, the uh, demographic profile of Nigeria. Nigeria has the largest population in Africa and the sixth in the world. And we have a currently uh, estimated population because we've not had a census for the past 17 years. So we're just using estimates um, to um, know how our population is progressing. So currently we have over 220 million people and at a growth rate of 3.2 annually. And um, by the United Nations, um, world pro, uh, population projects um, prospects of 2022. There was a predictions which is still holding forth for us that if we still grow at the pace that we are, we will become the third in the world by 2050 with a, a population of over 400 million people. And Nigeria contributes about 2.65% to the annual world population growth and 15.3% to the African population annually. Next slide. So Nigeria is one of the eight countries by the predictions um, of the uh, world population prospects that we are among the eight countries that will contribute to the, uh, that will contribute to the concentration of population growth till 2050. Next slide. So I try to look at the demographic situations confronting Nigeria. The world is experiencing a major demographic shift, which is creating a situation of concern. And I try to highlight those concerns that are peculiar to Nigeria. One of them is that we are experiencing rapid population growth, even when growth is declining in other regions of the world. Nigeria, which is situated in the sub-Saharan Africa, is one of those that is experiencing the rapid population growth. And this is driven by a sustainable or a sustained fertility increase at a total of 5.3, which is five uh, children on the average per a woman. And we're also experiencing a large population of young people where 70% of our population are under the age of 30. 42% are under the age of 15. And the women of reproductive age, which is 15 to 49, they're representing almost half of the female population. And this constitutes the drivers of fertility rise in Nigeria. Next slide. So um, following the uh, demographic situation confronting us, our age structure, as I've said, is youthful. We're also experiencing rapid urbanization where 54 percent currently are residing in the urban areas and by predictions we will, this will grow to reach 58.3 in 2030 and 67 by 2050. then we are also experiencing population in humanitarian setting and in conflict zones nigeria is also experiencing is also affected by climate change and disaster next slide and the climate change is causing, is contributing to high displacement internally and dislocation of the population. Like I will present in my future slides today, 
the experience we recently have with the flood in Borono State. So we look at the fundamental health system issues in Nigeria. The major financier of health system in Nigeria is the government. And the performance of the health system in response to the health care needs of the people is currently inadequate in three key areas. Financing, it's around 5% from the annual um, national population, uh, na annual budget of the government, only 5%. And we have problems, issues, and challenges in infrastructure and the size in terms of the size and the quality of human resource for health. That relates to skilled workforce and how it is distributed across health needs and facilities. And one of the key things that stands out is out of pocket spending on health, which is over 70% by household. And this has a major implication in expanding poverty across households. Next slide. What are the key issues confronting the health system? I've mentioned the key three ones, and these are the needs that are coming out of it. High and sustainable, sustained fertility increase has the implication for population management, well-being and quality of life of the population. High preventable maternal death, which is currently at 512 per 100,000 live birth. And we're also experiencing high under five maternity mortality rate at 132 per 1,000 live birth. We're also having high unmet needs for family planning, where 19% of currently married women have need, and 48% of sexually active unmarried women. Next slide. Also, we have high maternal burden among pregnant women and the under five children. We have high teenage pregnancy, where 19% 19, 19 of our children have commenced childbearing. We are experiencing poor nutrition, where 37% of the under five children are stunted. And we also have issues and challenges with spatial population healthcare interests. And it includes population caught in conflicts, population in humanitarian setting, and those affected by climate crisis and disaster. And I bring um, to this uh, meeting this morning the recent flood experience in Borono State, where 320,791 individuals in 65,731 households were affected. Equally, 122,774 population were displaced. 9,678 farmlands were affected, and we know how that has implication for livelihood and also for food security. We also have 489 casualties that constitute injuries and death. And 6,994 6, of the population have no shelter due to the flood. And these also include 110 functional health facilities was arranged to cater for those that were affected by the flood. Next slide. What is required in Nigeria to boost our health system? We need a long-term investment that will cater for the current and future demographics. Japan has just shared an, uh, an example of how their population age. We don't want to wait until we our population age before we prepare for them. So whatever um, we need to do now, we need to include how we will cater for this volume of population when they become old. And one of those things that we need to do, we need to look at our infrastructure. We need to have a sustainable financing arrangement adequate budgeting provision that is dynamic and flexible. For instance, we need to recognize and uh, practicalize the Abuja Declaration at Edge to allocate at least 15% of our annual budget to healthcare. We need to also um, 
practice that this Ababa call to action on human resources for maternal and newborn. We need to also practicalize that this Ababa declaration to end preventable maternal, uh, child and maternal death by 2017. Another um, thing that we require to do is the human resource for health in all the categories, particularly for the skilled birth attendants and experts. We need to address sexual and reproductive health, including family planning, because we have seen that our unmet needs is very high and signals from upcoming data have showed that we don't have any um, prospect of changing so that we can prevent matern uh, preventable maternal death so that we can reduce and or eliminate unmet needs for family planning. We need to provide vaccines for the, for the under five to have timely immunization of our infants and newborn so that we can achieve zero under five mortality. We need to focus on specialized and prompt healthcare arrangements for the vulnerable population. We need to also pay attention to data collection we need to invest in research and development. We need to leverage on digital technology. Next slide. What are we, we try to look at what effort the government is doing. It's not that the government is not doing anything. They are doing something, but these efforts need to be scaled up. And some of those efforts include the recent launch of the sector-wide approach for the health sector renewal investment initiative. And this was done in December to create a joint that is public and private long-term approaches to raising domestic fund for health system. And to, that will cater for the universal health coverage that will cover every citizen in Nigeria. Also the, uh, the sector-wide approach also emphasizes the centrality of the primary healthcare system as the catalyst for the efficient performance of the health system. The government is also implementing the basic health care provision fund, which is powered by the National Health, uh, National health Act to improve access to primary health care. And this is intended to reduce household pending on health care services and to achieve the universal health coverage. The government is also implementing the National Family Planning Blueprints that started in 2020 and will end this year. This is intended to improve the family planning services and to enhance the implementation of the tax shifting and tax sharing uh, policy to include uh, that of midwife service scheme, which will help to provide human resource for health at a community level. The government is also implementing the free primary uh, family planning services in all our public health facilities, which started from 2011. Next slide. Okay, what are the prospects? What do we need to do so that we can scale up um, attention, we can improve, we can strengthen, we can sustain a strong health system to cater for all the emerging demographic um, um, challenges that is confronting Nigeria. We need to prioritize the revitalization and strengthening um, and adequate financing of the primary health care system, which is the bedrock for delivering health care services to individuals and families at the community level. And this will facilitate the achieving of a universal health coverage. We need to improve on the health infrastructure and strengthen for resilience. We need to invest extensively in a continuous manner, the training, the upgrading, the knowledge and increase of the human resource for health across all the categories. And we also need to keep attention to deployment of the workforce. We don't need to keep them at the national level. We need to spread them across all the health facilities to the primary health care, to the um, humanitarian setting to where the conflict zone to attend to population that are caught in conflict um, areas. We need to expand the health insurance scheme, which is still very low at 5%.
and it's mostly for the um, formal sector to cover all in order to reduce out-of-pocket expenses. We need to prioritize investment in family planning, maternal, adolescent, and child health. We need to secure vaccine sufficient and quality vaccine and medicine. We need to invest in generating timely, quality, well disaggregated data that is just reference and leverage on the digital technology, innovations, the GIS, and to, and to leverage on best practices. I would like to mention here that in preparation for the next census, the National Population Commission was able to develop a good frame of the GIS for the next census, and that is being used in other surveys and intervention programs in Nigeria. We need to expand partnership, public-private partnership. We need to bring different stakeholders together. We need to do a lot of advocacy. We need to inform the populace about um, uh, do a lot of health promotion to talk to the people, to inform the people about health issues and where they can seek help. Next slide. What are the key outcomes of an efficient and effective healthcare, which we are looking forward to having in Nigeria, that is people-centered and people-responsive? It has to be affordable. It has to be accessible. It has to provide um, quality health care. It has to be equitable. Everyone, whether rich or poor, needs to have the same treatment, the same attention, the same quality care when they visit any health facility to, to seek for attention. Next slide. Next slide, please. I'm rounding up. Thank you.